finally is the last one. Or is it? <laughs> Return to Sleepaway Camp, the sequel from 2008 that has an awesome DVD cover that sort of reminds me of the cover from The Burning. Look at that. And for those who are wondering why this DVD cover isn't attached next to me, it's because I like to be diverse. Yeah. Unless there was no alternative artwork I could use, in which case... That would really suck. Anyways, Return to Sleepaway Camp is the fifth installment, and it pretty much doesn't follow any sequel, but instead tells its own tale. But it does kind of follow the first one. But that's not a sequel. Our killer is unknown this time, which is a nice change, but the twist is all the more better. And the killer... He knows how to make a kill creative. I mean, we get booby traps, a gruesome skinning of off screen, of course, a genital violently ripped off in a creative way, and some impalements. Now, speaking of impalements, I'm not gonna go all spoilers on you because this victim is not very important, but while this dude is looking through this magazine, and what do you know, it's a porn magazine, and while he's looking through it, a spear goes right through the paper and back down into a convenient hole in the ground. And I know what you're thinking. Aww, oh, I guess he gets a way to tell someone, but no one believes him. Hell, I can imagine a dick joke being used for the hole in the magazine. Oh, wait. They did use one. Anyways, this dumbass, instead of going for help, sticks his head closer to the hole and dies by impalement by a spear to the eye. How freaking original. So yeah, by that little part of this movie that I explained, you can see how classy the sequel is. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. Whoa. What was that? Just get back to the review. Okay, okay, jeez, calm down, man, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, pretty boy. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What, what, what is this? What? Is, oh! I think I'm okay. <laughs> But like Sleepaway Camp Parts 1 and 3, this film makes sure that the bad attitudes are present, and this time they are more downright annoying than ever. Even the main characters are train wreck filled with passengers saying, shut the hell up before their deaths. Nice one. Thanks. This sequel was no miracle, but they're planning on doing a sequel in 3D, so I'm looking forward to that. Overall, I give Return to Sleepaway Camp a 2 out of five. All right, Mr. Entity. Hopefully you didn't disagree with my rating, but what the hell did you want? Oh. Uh, I see. You want me to do a review on Piranha Conda later on today? It will be done. Why am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews? Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.